Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to jump on and do an unpacking and packing video with you guys with my Daffy Dover Medium Landon. I'm sorry, this isn't the medium, I want a medium, but this one's a small Landon, excuse me, small Landon, um, in the color Eclipse. So, let's jump right in. Alright, to get started, um, my small Landon, um, I'll let you know the way I have it packed right now, both sides will not button, so I'm having to leave this unbuttoned which is okay. This is supposed to be for a quick trip out um, because we are supposed to be quarantined right now. So this is just for absolute essential needs only. If I'm going out with my um, four guys or I may let my older one um, babysit it while I go out. But this is how I have it packed up. So um, on the Dagny Dover um, Landon, it has the main compartment, then it has a compartment back here um, for your uh, iPad or tablet, and it's uh, Velcro. Right now I just have my planner in there, and he over here on this side, if you can see, there is a zipper um, and another compartment. On the sides, there are two fairly huge pockets as well, but I can show you the inside of all of that and a pocket back here as well. Um, most, most of the time I put my cell phone in here, but I have been keeping my cell phone in my back pocket for right now for easy use, easy access. Let's get started. I will go ahead and we will get started on the back of this bag. So normally I would have my cell phone in here, but I have been keeping my cell phone in the back of my pocket or in my back pocket um, for about a week now, just in case, um, because I don't want to get through my purse while um, this whole COVID thing is going on. So I simply have my phone out ready to sanitize, and I have sanitizer, which we'll get to um, after I use it to touch on the pads, like at Costco or um, Albertsons or um, any of the other places. So anyways, this back pocket right here, it's pretty deep and you can fit quite a bit in there. So I have a bumpkin pouch and like I said, I'm not going out for a long period of time and I'm also choosing the bumpkin pouch because I can throw it in the wash and sanitize it. So in here I just have some quick snacks, a couple of quick snacks. Um, so I have four boys. What I would do is just cut these snacks in half because there's no way we're going to be out long enough to for each one of them to need a whole one. We will just come home and have um, a snack here. Then I have some gin gins. Um, my kids like the spicy ones. So we have some gin gins and some elderberry um, cough drops. But that is what I have in this back pocket right here. Um, and it's a bumpkin's pouch. You can find these on Amazon and they're really nice to have because once you take them out, say I set it down on the counter, I can easily just come home and throw it in the wash to sanitize it. Um, this one has already been washed. I washed it last night and sanitized it because I took it out yesterday, but that's what I have here. All right, moving on to the inside of the bag and I love the huge zipper. If y'all can see that, the zipper is so amazing. It's so easy to unzip. Okay, so to get started here, I'm going to show you I have two water bottles. So these are the 14 ounce Takeya bottles. And if you haven't um, been to their website right now, they are 50% off for um, the 14 ounce bottles and free shipping. Um, I set five to 10 business days to receive, but it only took three days for them to get to me. Um, and on the other side, another um, Takeo water bottle, um, 14 ounces as well. So that, you can tell, frees up the space here. I'm trying to catch it on camera. Sorry, guys. So the pocket here and the pocket here. Okay. Now I'll bring out my whoops pouch. Um, so this is also a bumpkins. 
um, in case I have to set it down in the restroom, I could easily throw it in the wash and sanitize it. So in here, I have some disposable bags, um, just in case the kids need to change their underwear. Maybe we didn't make it to the restroom on time. Maybe there was a line. Um, then I have a small white pouch, and you can also use this white pouch to put in cloth wipes. Um, right now I just have a few wipes left that I'm trying to use up, but um, this is also very, very handy for cloth wipes. Um, has this little um, holder right here. You can connect it to the side of your bag. You can also purchase these and put in hand sanitizing wipes, which I do have a pouch designated for my hand sanitizing wipes. I just didn't need it on this particular trip out. So then I have some Kleenexes, um, undies, socks, and a change of pants. And then back here are my needs. So, um, just my mom needs. So this is my mama cloth, um, just in case we're out. And I also have a disposable bag in there for my mama cloth. Just put all this back. And like I said, this is the medium size bumpkins pouch. I believe, yeah. No, I'm sorry, this one's a large size. I have the medium size up here, in here, packed up. Um, I do have all sorts of different kinds of bumpkins pouches just because they are so versatile. Um, you can put snacks in here, but the large bumpkins um, has been very good for my extra change of clothes. I have a five and a six year old, so if they're out playing and they get muddy, I can just throw everything in here and throw it all in the wash. Also, I wanted to mention the key tag or the the tag. It's made by Rose Petal Stitchery, and you can find her on Facebook and Instagram. And she does such an amazing job. If you can see, I opted to have the little game uh, button, and she just can customize it any way you want. And I love that I have that option. Next, I'm going to bring out my medium bumpkins pouch case. And in here, I always have this where I can easily grab it. So just, I mean, I can easily grab this. Um, with this one, this gets washed quite a bit. I do have a, I think three of these in the medium size um, because they are fabulous for all sorts of things. So in here, I just have hand sanitizer, the gel, um, when we have some more time to like sit and rub it in and we, we're not in a rush. I have spray hand sanitizer and also these bottles, you can reuse them to make your own hand sanitizer. And in another video that I will post, I will post how I made my homemade hand sanitizer and just use this bottle to put it in. So there's that. Um, I also have my Clorox wipes. Um, so I can wipe down surfaces um, so the kids can sit in the basket. I just wipe down everything in there and um, I can put the kids in the basket and I just leave it folded over the basket so I can continue to wipe down because once I touch something in an aisle then my hand now has germs on it so then I touch the basket again and I just rub this constantly on the basket um, through the whole time I just use one wipe. Um, I have some toilet seat covers in case the kids have to go to the restroom um, while we're out in public and these can just be thrown away. I ordered these on Amazon and I can link them below. Um, but wet ones, oh, I bought like five boxes of these um, at Costco when they first came out because they had a rebate and I'm really big on these wipes. I have them all the time, everywhere we go. I've always had these wipes. So when Costco started selling them in bulk, um, I really stocked, on, uh, stocked up on them, um, probably early October. So, um, wet ones. And then, one of my main things that I like to have, and I usually carry it in here, but I don't have it in here right now, is I carry my own cloth for when we wash our hands. We dry our hands with this. We don't touch the paper towel holder. Um, we don't uh, use the blow dryers, the air dryers. Um, 
I just have the kids walk out of the restroom and we use a cloth and then I put the cloth back. Usually I have a Ziploc bag and I put it back in here. Um, we've been doing that since I saw a girl from Japan doing it. Um, I want to say a year ago, it might have been longer, but she had on her channel how Japan doesn't have any um, blow dryers, air dryers, or they don't have any paper towels that you're supposed to carry around your cloth and that's what you use, um, so you're not touching a whole lot of surfaces. So we started that about a year ago, um, and we usually have this with us. So that is something handy, and you can also keep it in a Ziploc bag so it's not getting everything in your bumpkin's pouch wet. So that's all I have in this bumpkin's pouch. Um, my sanitizing kit, I call it. I need to have Diana make me a sanitizing um, keychain. And with all the Dagny Dovers, they come with this key leash. So um, right now, Costco isn't touching your card. They're just scanning it. So I have it on the key leash. Um, so I can just take it out really quick. They scan it and I throw it back in. Um, when I'm walking in, I just flip it out, show them, you know, I'm a member. Um, so it just works really well on the key leash. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like now that we've emptied out quite a bit. Down here I keep my own shopping bag. I got this from Daiso um, just so I can carry my own stuff. Um, sometimes when I'm doing a really quick trip I don't even get a basket. I just put everything in here and these are washable as well and you can also bleach them. Um, they do come out a little shriveled once you wash them, but that's okay. I paid a dollar for it. Like I said, these are at day so. Um, and I usually keep um, one at least in here, if not more, in another bumpkin small pouch. Okay, and that's, we're dwindling down here. In this bag, um, I got this from Target. It was a free gift with purchase, but I just have my charging bank um, and my charger is actually in the car so whenever I leave anywhere I usually get my charger and put it in here, zip it up and then we're good to go. So, let's see, one of the last pouches I have in here is the mesh pouch that Dagny Dover um, includes when you purchase the bag which is amazing and I just have mommy things. I have lotion, can't go anywhere without my mascara and some lipstick and some vetiver um, to calm the nerves and sometimes I do carry the CBD oil in here. I just don't have it in here right now um, because we're not going to be out too terribly long. In this back area here, I just have my Hobonichi. This is, I'm not done decorating it yet, I just changed it so I have to add some stuff. but. Um, this is the full year, so it is pretty thick and it fits nicely with extra room back here in this pocket. You can see the pocket's really huge. Now we'll move on to my zipper pocket. And in here I just have a whole bunch of random things. Um, I have this pouch from Rough and Tumble, and the tag was also made by um, Rose Petal Stitchery. Once again, you can find her on Facebook and Instagram. Um, she always has really good sales and deals going on, so definitely check her out if you want some tags. Um, in here, I just have my headphones because I don't reach for them very often, but that's what I have back there. And then I also have my wallet. Um, this one's also a rough and tumble wallet. Has our insurance cards, I believe. Let's see, I can count how many cards I have in each one, two, three, four. Okay, so I have about four cards in each slot. So um, it holds quite a bit and it holds up really nice. I have that in the back because I've been using my phone to pay just to tap or I use my watch to pay just hold it over hover it over um, I have some gum that I have to hide from my kids so I keep it in that zipper pocket um, let's see the last thing I have in here is a jujube coin purse and in here I have coins and cash 
cash for emergencies. Um, and also the bag tag. This is what I usually keep for like my coffee days when I want to splurge on some Starbucks coffee. So I added the key tag that um, Rose Petal Stitchery had made um, to this so I can have my coffee. And it's definitely not an emergency. I just like having coffee every once in a while. So that is all I have in the bag. But here's the zipper pocket. And as you can see, the pockets here are very generous. They you have a ton of room. And the best thing about this bag is while it's not waterproof, it is water resistant. Um, I will link the description down below and the website where you can find this. This does have afterpay, which is how I purchased this bag. Um, so every every month they just draw out however much the bag was um, for a certain amount of months and you pay off the bag, but they send you the bag immediately. Um, but I've always budgeted that. So um, using that service, I, I love because I'm able to work the amount of hours that I need um, to find whatever bag I want. So it just so happened to be this um, small Landon, which I love. And I love that you can buckle it on the sides to make it smaller or give you more space like I did today. Um, you can just unbuckle it and it opens so nice and wide. I know normally it wouldn't be a diaper bag and it's not um, marketed as a diaper bag, but it is an amazing diaper bag um, and also mom bag. Um, so anyway, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And if you'd like to see it packed up another way, um, I will be glad to post another video. I know I posted one before on cloth diapers and cloth wipes, so if you guys want to see that video of how cloth diapers fit in here, um, I can definitely post that. You all have a great day and thanks for watching.